What's up, guys? It's your boy Socrates for Leech. Just did some Stairmaster for whew, 30 minutes. Man, fantastic cardio. I was sweaty than a mother. First off, praise God. Guys, you have to show these women uh, I really don't care. <laughs> not in a I don't care type of way. Actually, not even with just women. Just your life. That you don't care if you get the job, you don't get the job. Now, I'm not saying don't be the best version of yourself or present yourself well. Just know that you have to display this aura or the way you speak, you talk that, hey, look, I'm going to wake up as myself tomorrow. The moment this interaction is done, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be me. I'm going to still have what I had before and what I don't have. What's the difference? <laughs> what I mean by that is the way you speak. If you're a teaser, I'm a shit talker. I shit talk women. That's my game. That's part of my game, right? Some women don't like that. I understand to a certain extent you don't want to constantly tease and do all this because it comes down as you're berating the girl, which is true. Unless you have that charismatic, sweet asshole to you, because that's what I have, right? Then, you know, that's just your game. And you have to show that some women would pick up on that because I teased this cafe worker, never got her number. I know her name, introduced myself, don't really care. And today I was <laughs> I was teasing her or bantering, talking shit about her glasses. Not in a condescending way, but in like a small little teasing way. And she goes, wow. She was laughing and then she went, wow. All right, you go, bro. She just went. Don't even dare. And uh, that's it. Kept it pushing. But I expressed myself. She took a little offense to it, but I don't really care. <laughs> and then when I was leaving, it started pouring. She was outside. And I told her to have a good day. She started laughing. Like, yeah. She started laughing, like, blushing. In the rain. So you see what I mean? Certain women would be down, and they'll banter back. They'll have fun. I realize those are a little bit of a more masculine women. Playful women. You just gotta like check some things here and there, but that's what you like. That's what you like. And, but the most important thing is that you're expressing yourself. That is so key to everything is the fact that you are expressing yourself. Cause once you express yourself and you get this mentality of being free, starts pushing your boundaries starts pushing your walls you're like you know what let's challenge myself more let's push myself more let's compete you know one thing about people with that shut-in invisible mindset is the fact that they don't have that competitiveness or maybe they do but in a different it's not on all the time it may be competitive in video games you may be competitive in debating may be competitive in typing talking shit but in other and most of the other aspects in your life you're like eh, whatever you gave up essentially you ran away but you just need to grab that light the way to do that is by just getting out of your comfort zone doing things you never done push yes at first like last year Comparing myself from last year to now, I've changed. I've changed. My mindset has changed. I've changed. I'm not who I was last year. I don't mean as in the shut-in. I mean as in the guy who was fit. My mindset has shifted. Because when I, when I transitioned or I started living life again, transition. <laughs> I transformed. <laughs> no, when I uh, 
That's a good one. Oh, that's a nice car. Hold on. That's an Audi? Um, I went from what? Shut in, really ran away from life. Now I started working out. Some things happened that was, kept me off guard or caught me off guard. I was not used to. And I ran back into my fortress while working out. I shut off. I became jaded, right? But now, I'm like, wait a second. I was being a little baby. I was kind of victimizing myself. And then I realized, wait, it's on me. The Bible even says, it's you. You can't change other people. You can only change yourself, right? You can't control other people. You can control yourself. There are things you can control, things you cannot control. And at the end of the day, you got God. You're good. You got yourself too. Like you're good. You're okay. And just expressing yourself and having that. It's a piece of confidence, you know. But it's really that self assuredness. Self assuredness that you're going to be okay. No matter how much videos you watch, books you read about these subjects it doesn't matter i'm sure you heard many other content co creators talk about this it doesn't matter you have to go outside and push yourself to new levels of i don't care if you're here or you're not it's very liberating the next step is just me grabbing numbers because I realize I can just grab numbers like that. It's really not that big of a deal. But I'm not used to that. That's not an excuse. I'm just stating I'm not used to that. And I want to take baby steps so I can get a better foundation. Simple as that. That's, that's the path I'm going. Regardless, yes, I'm using some girls as a... Uh, you know, just to practice my conversation skill, not getting their numbers. I don't, I don't really give a fuck. But I'm just being free these days, bro. It is so liberating. I'm gonna make a video on that because I'll get into it, a different video. But I will say, saying hello, saying hi, expressing yourself, you know. helps so much. It really does.